Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 4 of the Let's Play series. In the last episode, we built up this super efficient mine, and along with that, we made this awesome entrance too. But in today's episode, we're going to be starting on our village project, as voted by you in the last community poll, and I got some cool ideas. Let's get straight to work. So if we head down this way, just past the castle, I want to go to where we made our starter farms, just round the back. And it's in this forest area here that I want to put our village. But as you can see here, we've got a lot, a lot of trees that we need to get out of the way. So I think I'm going to get chopping those and we'll talk about the plans for the village. Let's go. So as I was saying before, you guys all voted for a village build for this episode. And for this series, I really want to try my best to give each build a purpose in the world. And with that in mind, I came up with the idea of making each of the buildings in the village a sort of bulk storage area for different items. And as we get more items that need more storage, we can expand the village over time throughout the series. As of right now though, we need storage for our different stone types, our wood, and also the ores we've been getting from the mine. But with all that said though, I think it's time to start building. Right then, with that all done, I think we've got a good space now to start building up our village. We've also got a decent amount of wood out of that, so that's good. And to start with, I'd like to start planning where the actual builds are going to go. And when I plan something, I really like to try and use wool. I don't know why, just a little habit. So I think what we do now is set up a little sheep farm so we can get some wool. Alright, so I'm at the cow farm. And I think there's a nice little place just to the right that'd be perfect for the sheep. Right, I just want to fill this hole in. And just like the cow farm wall, I just want to build it up the same. And I think we'll go with a shape just like that. There we go. Right, now we just need a couple of fence gates, and I'm going to call that done. This is going to be fine for now. All we've got to do is just grab a couple of sheep and start breeding them up. Right, I know I've got one in here somewhere. Here he is. You come with me. That's right, this way. And you come right in here. Perfect. Now we just got to go find you a friend. And I think I'll head this way, just towards the village. You are definitely not a sheep, my friend. Or you. Ah, but you are. Don't run away from me, you get back here. Got you. Right, let's take you back. Right, come up here. Come on, you've got a lovely new home to live in. Come meet your new best friend. Here we go. Right, thank you. You stay there. And there we go. All right, gang, I'm going to start breeding these sheep, collect some wool, and I'll be right back and we'll plan this village. Right, just collecting the last of this wool. How much have we got? Like three stacks. That is absolutely fine. Right, let's get to the village build. Okay, let's get planning. So we're going to start off just by planning out a few of the buildings, starting with this one. Just a little simple build here. And I was kind of inspired by those pumpkins, so I decided to add a little wall around here so we could have a little garden area. Moving on to the next one, I decided to stick with a 5x7 shape I've been using. And then this bit here, I thought would be a little staircase. And I thought it was looking a bit square, so I added another little bit on the side, just for a bit of variety in the shape. And just moving down the hill from where we were, I started building up the next house. And for this one, I thought I'd go with more of an L shape just to mix things up a little bit. And now moving on to the final building we're going to add to the village today. This one I just kept super simple. The variation for this one is going to come in the form of height. And here's a little flyover of the plan we've got so far. It's only a few buildings right now, but we've got a lot of detail to add. I'm going to get some materials together and then we can start working on the first building. Right, I think I've got most of the items here. Got loads of stone, a bit of wood, but I'm missing some spruce wood. And you know what that means. All right then, spruce wood acquired and everything else we need for the first build. I think we're going to do this one together. I'm just going to start by getting rid of this wall quickly. I'm just going to swap out all of this wall just for our stone variants. Okay, so there's our basic shape. I'm just going to bring this up by another three blocks. And I want to add the same roof as we've got on this building here. And now I'm going to bring in the deep slate tiled stairs. And then the slabs on the top. Yeah, yeah, that looks cool. Right, now we need to get our walls here and put them on top. Awesome. And on these houses, I'm going to put these spruce fences right on the very top ones as well. 
Right, keeping with the theme of the castle, we're going to add this spruce trim. And around the back. There we go. Right, this is looking cool, but I want to add a little tower on the side here. So I just built this up using the stone variants, and then added the usual spruce trim around the top, ready to build our roof. And this roof shape is super, super simple. So I just go around like this with the deep slate. Add four blocks there with the walls in the corner. And then I go walls on top of these. And then can I make this? Block there, block there, wall, and then fence. It's that easy. Let's go take a look down the bottom. Okay, that's looking a bit more interesting. I like that tower. What I think I want to do now is add a chimney on this side. Right, it's going to go around this side. Take it out the middle and then just build straight up using our stone. All right, please don't die. Everything's fine. All right, that's looking cool. It's kind of evened out the build as a whole. All right, it's time to start adding a little bit of detail. What I think I'm going to do, I'm going to raise the door up just by one block. So let's chuck these in here and here. And then we can put our door just in here. There we go. I'm then going to put these trap doors on the sides. Nice, that looks good. I think we put a little window in here as well. Maybe just a little small one. Yep, I like that. Let's get some windows in this tower as well. And one here. I think while we're up here, let's add a few leaves coming down as well. And we'll go trapped underneath. And then signs around the side. Yeah, yeah, I like that. It kind of makes a nice little flower box. A few little leaves down the bottom here. Okay, that's starting to look cosy. I think if we build up the garden wall around the edge here, I think it'd be cool to try and build some kind of arch coming off of here. So we'll use these stairs. And then maybe we'll like slope this down a little bit. Yep, that's cool. I like that. I think I'm going to put some spruce trap doors just to act as like a fake doorway kind of thing. So we'll put one behind there. And then what I like to do is put one on this side. So it kind of looks like it's open, you know? Inviting. Right, I dug out a bit of the garden here. And now with that done, I think I want to add a couple more windows just in here and then maybe a couple more in the tower as well right there perfect i think the last thing this needs is just a few more leaves coming down there we go lovely right next up i want to go find some flowers for our garden hi chicken hi pig hi cow wow that's a big cave hello bee Ooh. bruh well, let's go get our stuff. Okay, it's around here somewhere. I fell through the snow. Oh, no. I was going to float all the way down that water, isn't it? Okay, here goes nothing. Yeah. Okay, everything's fine. Oh, no, there's creepers. Oh, it could have been anywhere. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where's the stuff? Hi, zombie. Okay, glow glowing sack. That's not my stuff. I literally can't find it. Maybe it didn't flow down the water. Maybe I got lucky. Either way, I need to get out. Oh, hang on. Yo. Yeah, there it is. Oh, my God. Okay. Right. Let's go home. Let's just go home. We really need to get some better armor. Next episode, let's do that. All right, at least that wasn't too far from home. Honestly. Two deaths in two episodes in a row. Not good. And I meant to be playing on a hardcore SMP soon. Yikes. All right, there's home. I see our tower. Back to safety. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, back home safe. Let's crack on with this garden. Right, so we're going to head around the back here. And I'm going to throw some coarse dirt just in the ground here. Just to act as a sort of flower bed kind of thing. Right, now I'm going to chuck some of these lilacs, but just sort of near the back. And then a little bit of grass. And then maybe just a few leaves. And maybe like a sort of broken fence around it would be nice. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. That's cool. Oh, hello. Stay out my garden. Right, I think I also want to put another flower bed just in here. But more of a raised one. Right, and then there's some trapdoors along the front. Yep, I like that. That looks cool. Right, now for this side, I think I'm just going to terraform it slightly and chuck a wheat field in. Let's get that done. Alright, so here's the finished garden. I think this is looking nice. Nice and cosy. Got the wheat field all grown up. A few pumpkins sprinkled in there. 
couple of flower beds. I think this is looking nice. The next thing I want to do for this building is just get a little path in here. I think I'm just going to do that out of coarse dirt. Okay, there we go. Finished path. That's looking nice. Now, I want to chuck a few barrels out the front. Yep, yeah, that's looking cool. And now let's head inside. Fill in this floor. Make some more barrels. And then I'm going to stack a few of these just in here as well. And then what I want to do is just fill it with deep slate. Because this place is going to be our deep slate storage. And I think I want to signify that just by putting an item frame with some deep slate by the door there. And there we have it, the finished deep slate storage house. I'm really happy with how this one came out. But there's three more buildings to get done. And I'm going to do that now. Let's go. So here we are, this is what we got so far. I'm really happy with the direction that this is going in. But we'll take a little look around the other buildings that I've done. So we've got this one here. This is going to be our cobble storage. I still need to fill up the barrels. But yep, this is looking really cool. We've got a nice staircase going up the side here. And then a door into an empty room. And if you wander down here, I've made a little path. And we've got this building here that's going to house our other various stone types, I think. Again, no interior in here just yet. And finally, we got this one, which I think is my favourite out of the four. This is going to be our log storage. I really like the wood in this building and the different roof shape. I think we're definitely going to do more of this in the village. And as you can see, I've dotted a few custom trees around. I think they're looking really nice. Definitely something I can improve on. They're not really my strongest point. But I'm super happy with how they turned out. I think they fit the village nicely. I think in another episode, we're going to work on the interiors and start getting all the storage sorted. But that's all I've got time for for today. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.